Hi, this is Stephen here from Share Navigator with a technical update on the S&P 500. So today is Thursday, September the 17th, 2020. We're in the pre-market at the moment. And as you can see yesterday, the market sold off by about a half a percent. But that really doesn't tell the full story. I'm going to move into a one-day chart. So we're really talking about here the lead into the Fed meeting, the Fed announcement that they're going to hold interest rates right to 2023. And the market initially went up in the news. And then during the press conference, Whatever the Federal Reserve said, um, obviously investors didn't like it and the market started to sell off. And it was really in that last hour of trading that all the damage was done, as you can see. So from 3 to 4 p.m. there, U.S. time, Eastern U.S. time, um, a lot of the damage was done. And that was during that press conference. So investors decided that they didn't like what they saw. So what does that mean for the market? Well, we're still in this range that we talked about last week. So we talked about the key moving averages. So you have your 10 and 20 day moving average. They've acted as resistance. So this bounce off the 50 day was expected. We discussed that last week. Um, it came back up to really where the market sold off from and it's a key resistance point which ties in well with our moving averages. So now that they've held, you know, you would expect maybe a retest of this 50 day moving average. And if that happened again for the bulls, I wouldn't be getting too panicky about it at this stage. However, if we break down below that 50 day moving average and trade below that for a day or two, I do think you could see further downside. And we know that our Fibonacci's line up well here with that 200 day moving average. And I believe that if, if this 50 day doesn't hold, um, 3200 is probably the area where we're gonna try and find support, but ultimately we could end up at 3100. I think at those levels then, um, maybe there's good buying opportunities. Um, Another reason why I suppose that I'd be a little bit anxious about it there, if we actually bring in the, the NASDAQ index here, again, just to give you a look at that chart, it's a similar story, but we've already had multiple breaches of that 50 day moving average on the NASDAQ. And that's kind of your early warning sign here that, you know, this may not hold. So if the NASDAQ again, which is getting squeezed between its 10 and 20 and 50 day moving average doesn't hold, um, there's a lot further to fall in that. Um, maybe five, eight, 10% on, on the NASDAQ, because we did, we do know that those stocks got bid up quite substantially in the last number of months and, and maybe a bit of profit taking will, will start. If these technical indicators start breaking down, you could expect a lot of sell orders to go into the market. So that would be my fear and that will obviously knock in, knock on into the S&P 500. So I think the next few days are critical. If these 50 day moving averages don't hold and we start trading below it, uh, my view is that we could be going 5 to 7% lower on both indices. Okay, this is Stephen here from Share Navigator with a technical update on the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq. Thanks and bye for now.